This is a tutorial for Visual Buildings Visual Floor Planner. First, we're going to set the measurement system, whether imperial or metric. This is going to be metric. And our paper size is portrait. And our drawing size is going to be 25 meters. That's the width of the uh, entire building. We're now going to change some additional floor settings. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the font. We're going to use a standard font of 14 Arial. That's OK. So we just say OK that and close that. Right, we're now going to add our first room. This is going to be the width and this is the height of the room and it's a bedroom and we just click that where we want to place it and I can edit that by double clicking and we can automatically insert the room size the room size uh, hanging bracket is just a, a key which automatically enters the room parameters and our next room is going to be 2.5 meters by a depth of 2.5 and this is going to be the ensuite and notice how we click that and the wall automatically snaps. Add the room size automatic. We have that on a new line. We don't have to have it on a new line, but I think it looks better underneath the uh, room name. And I can actually just check my uh, room lengths there. If I want to drag the mouse, I can select the wall and drag it, and the zoom in there a bit, and the uh, you can see the actual room length will change. I can do that with the mouse or use the Control Plus cursor key. My next room. Say WC. And just drop that on there. And in this case, I don't want to call it a W stroke C, I just want it to be a WC so I can edit the default room names and put the room size underneath. OK. And it's too big, so I need to reduce the font for this particular text in this room and make that 10. That's better. You can do that at any time. You can go back to a room and change the uh, text within the room at any time. 6.25 and 2.7 and this could be the entrance hall and our entrance hall snaps just there. Again, notice how the interior walls are automatically um, identified and the exterior walls are actually slightly thicker than the interior walls. Right, just drag the drawing around so I'm working in the center of the screen. Add my next room, and this is going to be 6 by 6. This could be my garage. Where's the garage? Could be double garage, but I'm just going to call it a garage. And that snaps there. You know it snapped because the other walls turn red. And just put in my room size. This adding the room size is not necessary. You can go in and actually add room sizes manually if you wish. For instance, if you um, are not quite sure about a certain measurement and uh, you don't want it to show. Um, just adjust this for instance. I'm using the control and um, cursor key on the keyboard to finally adjust. For instance, that says 2.5.94. Uh, so I, I want that to be um, 6 meters. No, I'm going to adjust this one down 2.65. So again, the mouse will drag it but uh, you drag it into an approximate position and the, the control plus cursor keys will give you a five fine positioning method. Our next room is going to be the kitchen. 
snaps there. I'm working along here quite slowly, that's really because I'm talking and working at the same time. But uh, as you've seen in the other videos, you can work a lot faster than this. And again, just demonstrate the fine adjustments of the wall using my control plus cursor key. And I'm selecting the red wall, and by moving that, the other walls automatically adjust in length. And for instance, I want this, this particular wall to be in line with the garage left hand wall. And now we're into a larger room, and this is going to be my lounge. Snaps into place. If you place a room and you've made a mistake, you can select it again and delete it. Just select anything and press the delete key and the item you've selected will disappear. Right, um, I'm going to just move this, no, this wall here. I want my garage to be 6 meter wide so obviously the snapping snapped the other wall and um, I lost my mo initial measurement so I just adjust this room and you can see I want that to be 6 meter and I have to adjust this point up here because the other two points have moved and that also wants to be 6 meter. It's easy enough to see that the lines are line up and one more tap I'll make that 6 meter. Note that the um, measurements are two decimal place, but the actual measurements displayed are only up to one decimal place. Right. Um, what I'm going to do now is put a, some extra points in this particular wall. If I double click on this line I've created some additional control points which allows me to break the wall and place alcoves and steps in the wall. That's easily done so just drag that and I'm snapping into the grid there. But there's not, they're not the wall lengths I want so again I select the wall and then using the control plus cursor key I'm adjusting the, the wall length to be exactly what I want. In this case, a one meter step. And again, here, that's one meter. And the lower wall is going to move up to make that also one meter. So, and now I'm going to um, add the next room. Which is a bedroom. No, it's the hall. We've got to put the hallway in first. That's better. And in this particular case, um, I don't want the measurement to be under the, the name because there's no room. So here it's going to be adjacent to the name. Now we can insert a bedroom and make that 4.0 and place our bedroom, snap it to the existing rooms, double click, insert room size. Now we're going to put in um, just just that first line that one up there. Um, so right then, yep. I'm now going to put in my two um, my a bathroom and a um, ensuite. That's better. I can zoom in. It's, sometimes it's better to zoom in to uh, see exactly what you're doing. So you can actually set that to the exact measurement. And occasionally when you move it, a room, you, you'll get it out of alignment. So you just select a point and drag it back into alignment. 
and zoom out again and I'm going to place the uh, last two rooms here and it could be the case that we haven't got the measurements for these rooms so we just put in something rough um, our bathroom and it's obviously not the right measurement because obviously the exterior wall doesn't align and in reality we know that exterior wall does align and if your automatic measurement isn't the actual measurement you've put in you can actually not put in uh, an automatic measurement uh, in here you could actually override that put a manual measurement to the exact measurement that you measured and same for the ensuite using the control key and cursor keys together if I zoom in I can see a better indication of what's aligned by clicking the room you can actually see the interior wall length of each of the uh, attached walls and we will add the room size on here too big so I have to change the font size again I'll make that 12 I could actually go around and change the font size for all of the uh, text so it looks to be the same I could change that font size to make it uh, fit the room. Let's try 12. Yep, it's better. So that's all of our rooms done. Um, this still looks like this wall here is out of alignment, so um, I just select that and just nudge it. And so now we're going to select the um, door catalog and place a door. Notice moving the cursor in or out from the wall, I can change the, the door direction and place a wall, a door on this wall. If I want to change that, um, I can change the vertical you can mirror the vertical or the horizontal that would actually change the swing of the door and the, the hinge size of the door as required just add my doors throughout my plan and you have in the catalog various styles of doors you can see that there's folding doors sliding doors and gaps um, where there are no doors and the door size can actually be changed you can see the standard size there is uh, as you place the door you can see the standard size is 0.86 by 0.7 width and then you can just drag the door into position place it where you want we don't want this door that was a mistake um, that door goes in here because we actually have a, a double door going into the entrance hall into the lounge again before you place the window the door you can change its opening direction and the same for the main entrance door just line that up that's all the doors um, <clears throat> Just align some of the text out of the way of the, uh, the door. And uh, now we have some more doors missing here. And now for our windows, we place our window. And 
when place of windows is just like doors the, the window will automatically and align to the the wall that uh, you're, you're hovering over uh, it doesn't want to be a window internally so, um, again if you misplace a, a window just select it and then delete it and uh, it will go um, I can have some sliding doors got various kinds of doors here and we've got two sliding doors here and we can zoom in to see yes there they are the sliding doors um, garage doors the garage doors are kept in the door selection and there we have the garage doors and I think that completes our plan with doors and windows